Ja Morant, but we're, we're oh, watching it on, on TV just now. His Everyone always says AI, AI, AI. <laughs> to me, he's got a lot of MJ in him. Uh, you know, just a sh- sh- shorter than them, but like he's got a lot of that. Some guys are allowed somehow to climb the air, right? Like once they're in the air, they're allowed to still climb up in the air. Air buoyancy. Air well. buoyant. <laughs> Is Ja Morant the most block office <laughs> player in the NBA? We're going to have more on that in 10 seconds. Be a part of Keyshawn J. Willemax Nation on Dr. Pepper Call Online. Call 888-SAY-ESPN, 888-729-3776. ESPN Nation is presented by Dr. Pepper. It ain't college football season without the delicious taste of an ice-cold Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Okay, Stephen A. Smith on first take yesterday. Mm-hmm. This is a man who argued with me when we had a debate when John ja Morant was coming out of college. I said he is a guaranteed superstar, and Stephen A. wasn't sure. Oh. As a guaranteed oh, superstar. Wow. That's right. Wow. Here he is now, several years later, on John ja Morant. Is he the most box office player in the league? I believe I believe he he probably is. I mean, I'm thinking about the stars in the league, and you want to put Luke up there absolutely because he's global. Not that the NBA isn't global, because more than any other sport, you know, in, in North America, they've they've done a magnificent job of globalizing their brand. But John Morant is something spectacular. He's not good. He's not just great. He's spectacular. You walk through the turnstiles. To see this brother play. Welcome to the party, Stephen A. We came up with this list last year, and he was number one for me last year. It's not even a question. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck with everybody, okay? And real hoopers out there, like we talk like real football talk, real basketball talk. Real hoopers know about this, right? So I was born in a middle yes, class family, Go ahead. right? Middle class family. But in order to gain your chops, you got to go to the hood and play basketball. Mm-hmm. Like, that's always where it is. Like, mm-hmm. that's where you get your licks in, right? And we all know about this, playing basketball in those parts of the world. You always meet one. Alan Gates, our producer, knows what the hell I'm talking about. You meet one, we be like, damn, how athletic is that dude? He's how the best we- athlete in the world. <laughs> What's he doing over here? How yeah. come you didn't make it? And yeah. there's always something like, oh, you got mixed up with the wrong cat. Something happened. You got Something happened where in your life, off the court where you didn't make it. But you watch that, you're like, damn, yo, you're the one. You should be in the league. Yeah. You got like an 80-inch vert. Yeah, or he can't shoot or there's something you missing. You're touching or, yeah. the top of the yeah. backboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who Ja Morant is. But he He's made that it. dude that made it. <laughs> and you're like, oh, my God, like you are. I'm watching Allen Iverson, but with Zion Williamson bounce. Like, the dexterity that he has in the air. And it led me to this last night. Like, go on YouTube. And literally, Max, you can watch. Get a glass of Pinot. Get a glass of Scotch. And just go on YouTube and watch Ja Morant almost compilations. Man, get it, get some Cisco. <laughs> ja Morant almost yes. compilations. And you Pino. will be entertained for 11 minutes with all of his misses. Like the misses? misses? The Wait, why, misses. Is <laughs> why the misses, Jay? He's stupid because the misses are over. Like the miss he had last night. It's like he just trying people. For blanks and giggles, just to have fun with it. Yeah. And, and I will say this. I, I think, as another Hooper talk, like, yo, the, the three best layup makers. Okay. Layup makers Kyrie in the game of, the basketball, of the right? I'm talking about dudes that can hit you with the English off the glass. You're like, how did that even pop spin back in? Like the, the You're not putting him over Kyrie, are you? I, I'm saying Kyrie one. Okay, okay. Ja Morant two. Mm-hmm. Zion Williams in three. Now, people want to say, oh, Zion Williamson, he's gonna like a he's a wrecking ball. Yo, but you watch, he can change his body angles in the air. He might be one of the most difficult shot makers in the game of basketball. You know what's crazy when you talk about box when you talk about box office and layup package, right? One and two in the draft that year were Zion and Ja. It is unclear at this moment who winds up the better player, who winds up having the better career, who's more exciting to watch. The two of those guys, what a in terms of that stuff that you just talked about, Jay. Has there been a draft ever where one and two had those qualities to the extent that these two have? I mean, I'm I'm not a history I can't, buff. I can't. I, just I, in your I lifetime, have to, I have to do research on it. I mean, uh, but let's not. Is in other words, it'd be as though Dominique yeah, I mean, and Jordan, I mean, no. it, but which they didn't. But imagine they're in the same <laughs> draft and they go one and two. That's what it's like. Yeah. I, 
And I, so yesterday I was on Get Up and I was talking about I think the Pelicans were playing the best basketball in the league. And granted, they had lost to the Jazz and they lost to the Jazz again last night. But yo, the Memphis Grizzlies beat the Bucks by 40 at home. Like I'm not talking about by 10. I'm not talking about by 20. They beat them by 40. Wait, Jay, that's the other home. thing. That's the 40. other thing. Zion and Jaws teams. Not only are they probably the best example of a one and two with the stuff you're talking about, with the electric, athletic, layup package, spectacular box office appeal, right? In the history, who went one and two in the draft. But then they're on loaded teams, and they're contributing to put their teams over the top right now. Now, look, I, I get Drew Holiday didn't play. I, I, I understand, but still, like 40 is a massive number, right? 40. Desmond Bain didn't play for the – for the Grizzlies. So it, it's you see these games, granted, regular season, but like that to me, there is not even a question about if you want to go see any NBA game, if you're a kid out there, you want to go see one NBA game in your town, when the Memphis Grizzlies come to town, you go see Ja Morant. Face of the league going forward, more likely, I want a name, Ja or Zion. And also, Max, you know why? Huh? Because probably 99% of the time, dude's going to play. He's going to play, too. We'll get into Kawhi Leonard, other guys. He's going to play. He will be available. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.